Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a water slide water bottle. And so this is the Hydro Sport water bottle from Hog. I've been using a lot of their cups lately. I just kind of ordered a bunch of different varieties. Um, and so yeah, this is a 32 ounce. Just kind of showing you guys how it works. They have two different versions, one with like a stationary handle and then this one that I had that the handle you can uh, lay up and lay down, like lay flat and like kind of stick it out, hang it on your book bag, all that. And so yeah, so I went ahead and cleaned that up and then I spray painted it because I'm gonna do sunburst on the bottom and then opal on the top. So I spray painted it white and yellow. Um, I'll leave a link to the spray paints that I use below. I believe I use Rust-Oleum pretty much all the time. And so just to clean it up, I'm gonna go in with 100% acetone. Don't use regular nail polish remover because there are different additives in there that claim they do things like grow your nails. Um, so just make sure to ease, you can easily remove spray paint with 100% acetone. Um, and so it's usually located in the beauty section. So yeah, so I'm just gonna clean up the water bottle around the rim because this is the part that the lid screws on. So we don't want any spray paint on there because we're not gonna be glittering that part. And so I'm just, I'm kind of just showing you guys all like the prep and everything because I want the bulk of the video to be about the water slide, but I know people are going to have questions on like the prep. So that's why I've included all this in here. And so I'm just doing the Mod Podge method for my tumbler, just my go-to method. It's just easier for me. And so, yeah, using Mod Podge as the glue and then I'm going to glitter it. So yeah, and so for this one, I decided to do, cause I was gonna do like a chunky fine ombre, but I'm like, I really wanna use this opal. Like it's like sitting on my desk staring at me every day. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do a chunky ombre with two chunkies. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this part. Nothing, I'm not doing anything special that you haven't seen me do in other videos. If you need like a more detailed video on how to do, like if you're like struggling with doing a like a two color chunky ombre um i can do a video i have a video from a while ago where i did like an ombre with a chunky and a fine um and that's the opal like how could i not use this you guys it is beautiful so yeah and i actually did do two layers i waited about an hour between coats and I did do two layers of glitter. And so I don't show both in the video, but I just wanted to, I'll let you guys know verbally that I did do two layers of glitter. And it was fine after one, like that's the whole point of spray painting the water bottle so you can do less layers, but I'm a psychopath. I wanted to do two. Um, and also what I didn't show in the videos that I put on a glove, like you guys see, see me do when I do chunky glitters and made sure that I pat it down um, the glitter to try to get it as flat as possible to help me on the epoxy side of things. And so that's how it looks. I'm about to go ahead and just epoxy it. Oh my goodness, y'all. If you have these hydro sports, I didn't know like, so I didn't know what I needed to spin it. And like when I, every time I spin a new bottle, I kind of just wing it. And if things just go south, then they just go south. This one went south. This was the hardest bottle, like spinning a wine bottle, like a real wine bottle is easier than spinning this bottle. Like this thing took me to hell and back and maybe went again and came back again. Like it was so difficult. Like I, and I thought I had it figured out and I thought I had it rigged up good. And I just did not You can see like my Turner keeps stopping. It's just like giving me a heart a heart attack and I'm just like oh my goodness this thing is going to end up falling off the turner in the middle of the night and I'm going to be asleep and I'm going to wake up and it's going to be stuck on this garbage bag on my desk and it's just going to be stuck and the epoxy is going to be messed up and I'm going to have to throw away this water bottle and I'm like you know what but forget it I'm, I'm moving forward I've mixed up this epoxy <laughs> this epoxy is going on this water bottle I do not care I'm just going to get it in here and then I'm going to go with God and so that's pretty much what I did um, in this case. And so hopefully for the second layer, I can find a better way to rig it up. I'm like, okay, I need to go to the store and just kind of walk around and see what I can use to help me spin this bottle because how I have it rigged up now is just not working as y'all see. Like I'm getting the epoxy on there, but it's on there like all kinds of crazy, but I'm like, I can, I can sand to bring it back to life. And so, but 
main goal being let's get this first coat on here and if we have to do two more coats because this first coat is janky then i'll just deal with that but girl it's spinning tonight <laughs> and so yeah so that's how that ended up looking and so let's start with the water slide stuff and so i'm in silhouette studio um i've, I've had this picture of the golden girl saved on my computer for years um i just found it on google um i can't find where it came from so i can't give credit but yeah and so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a circle so i blew up the image and i made a circle in silhouette studio and so i'm gonna stretch i know i wanted what i thought i wanted was a four by four circle i'm like okay four by four that's gonna be nice and big you'll be able to see who it is um, i'll touch on the size a little later when i go live um, with me actually talking a little bit later in the video and so what you want to do is make your image fit inside whatever size shape you want to do and if you want to do a square that's completely fine too but i wanted mine in a circle and so i'm just showing you guys how you accomplish that so make your shape and then make your picture fit inside your shape real nice and so main instead of stretching the circle once i get the circle to the size now i'm going to make sure i'm stretching the picture to fit inside that circle and then once i'm satisfied i'm gonna go into the modify not the modify I'm gonna highlight everything, then go to modify and hit crop. And then that'll gonna snap it to a circle. So that's how you can do that. And you can do like, you can do that with any shape. If you have like a heart or anything, you can snap the picture inside of the shape that you want it to be. So that's how you accomplish that. So make the shape, make your picture cover it, um, highlight everything and then use the crop function. And then you're gonna just print this out like you would normally print it. So you could have done this like in Word, but I like to do everything in Silhouette Studio. That way um, I have some continuity between everything. All right, you guys, I just got done printing this. Um, of course, you guys know I'm never perfect and I like to show you guys what I did wrong in case this happens to you. And so in the part I just showed you guys, I did it in a four by four. Um, once I printed this, I decided the four by four was a little bit too big. And so then I went with a three by three. I forgot, so I keep my Silhouette Studio on my cutting mat size, which is an eight by 12. And so I pushed it to the edge to make sure it wouldn't run into this one. And in turn, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So of course the end got cut off. So I just did it one more time down in the corner and this is gonna be the one we're gonna use. And so, yeah. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this on my silhouette and then I will spray it that way to make it easier for me and not have to cut it by hand. Alrighty, so this is what we're working with after I cut it. Um, I usually cut the circle a little bigger and that way I can just go in with regular scissors and just get it as close as possible. Um, and then I just leave a little handling tab. And this is transparent, so having the little handling tab is not that big of a deal. I will say if you're doing white, um, after you spray it, you're gonna wanna go back and still cut that off. If you're doing transparent, it's not that big of a deal, but you can still definitely go and cut it off. And so the next thing we're gonna do is spray it. All right, you guys, so we're back in the garage. And so I use the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. This has just always been my favorite clear coat. I use this to seal in glitter and all that. And so I put the water slide just on something since I'd already cut the shape, something to help me carry it around. And so um, make sure you do this in a ventilated area. Make sure that you know, you're being safe and all that. And so what I like to do is always do a couple of test sprays off to the side before you start spraying on your actual water slide because you could easily mess it up like that so do your test sprays and then come in i do like a couple of light little squirts and then i try to get it really good and so you see me doing the test sprays off to the side and i'll let you guys hear real time how i spray painted it Thank you. 
So nice light layers, keep that bottle moving, don't focus on one spot too much. And I, this is when I came back and did layer two. So it goes so fast, so quick. It's like the most important part that you have to do, but it goes by very fast. And for anyone asking, no, it's not optional. You have to spray paint it because if you don't spray paint it, all the all your ink will come off in water. <laughs> all right, so we have an epoxy water bottle and a spray painted water slide. So I went ahead and sanded my water bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it down really good with 70% isopropyl alcohol. And I've already wiped it down once. Um, so I'm just giving it another wipe where I plan on putting the water slide um, just to make sure like it's free of dust or anything that could prevent the water slide from laying as flat as possible. So now I'm just trying to figure out where actually I want it. So just another little trick. If you have like rolling water bottles, you see I just took the, cap, the lid to the alcohol and I just put it underneath um, the bottle. So... Just another way if you don't have like a cup cradle. Y'all know me, I don't be buying all that extra stuff. <laughs> um, and so that's what it looks like. You can see it's nice and shiny, great full coverage from the clear coat. So that's how you want it to look after you have spray painted it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut off that extra little tab that I left on. Again, it's a transparent water slide, but if you're using a white water slide, you definitely wanna cut it off. The transparent ones, not that big of a deal. But the white ones, you will definitely notice it because the white ones are like stark stark white and so i just have a little bit of tupperware here with some water it's room temperature water i don't know if it makes a difference if you use hot cold i just use room temperature because i know that works and so you're going to just take the water slide and just completely submerge it um it's going to curl up like that no worries just hold it down or flip it over whatever works best for you, but just make sure you have that whole thing submerged. And so it usually takes, you know, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or two um, to get it nice and submerged to the point where you can slide it off pretty easily. And I'll show you guys all that. And I left this in, this is all real time. Um, so it's not sped up or anything like that. So you guys can see how long it takes to get it where you need it to be. So you're just gonna hold that underwater and so that's why the spray painting and spray painting it good is important because if this isn't coated good, then you'll start seeing the ink drip. And so you see, I just tried to slide it off. It didn't come off easily. If it doesn't come off easily, don't force it. Just put it back in the water. You can't hurt it by putting it back in the water. So if you pull it out and it gets, you know, air on it, completely fine. Dunk that bad boy right back in the water. And so I'm just gonna hold it down for about another 30 seconds. Again, making sure it's completely submerged. And if it seems like I'm moving a lot, I was listening to music and having a funky old time. <laughs> so I was definitely feeling myself. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out and you can see now how it's sliding really easily. I can just easily slide it off that paper that's on the backing. So that's where you want it to be at um, when you apply it. So now I'm just gonna make sure I have it lined up where I want it to go and it's still nice and wet. You wanna make sure you keep it wet. And then I'm just gonna slide the backing um, from off of it. And make sure you have it lined up where you want it to go because once you like press it down, it's kind of stuck there. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna pull it off and you can see it came off very easily. And I'm gonna just smooth it down. And that's, that's water slides, y'all. That's like water slides 101 right there. And so that's what it looks like. It looks really good. I know the video is upside down. Um, that's just how I put my camera, sorry. And so I'm gonna just take a paper towel and make sure I'm getting out all that extra water. I'm not gonna like rub it or anything like that on top of it because we're dealing with something very thin and very delicate. But making sure I take a paper towel, make sure it's covering the whole water slide and just pressing down, making sure I get out any water, any kind of water pockets, anything like that. And I'm just gonna run my finger over the edges to make sure everything's nice and laid down. Again, just keep 
making sure like if it's dripping or anything just make sure you're getting that water up just be gentle but yeah you want to make sure you get all the water out some people like to use a squeegee i can't find any of mine i haven't been able to find them for years to tell y'all the truth <laughs> um so i'm gonna write the word stay golden and vinyl the all the vinyl i'm using two different colors of vinyl um but they're both from tech wrap i will leave and i got mine on amazon i'll leave a link to them below and so I wanted to stay golden in like a goldish color. And this one like shifts to like orange and green. Like it's so pretty. Hopefully I can catch some good footage um, in the light so you guys can see how beautiful that vinyl is. And I don't know the name of it, unfortunately. It came in like a bundle pack and none of them were labeled. So if I can find the name like of it individually, I'll put it below. But like I said, it came in a bundle pack. Um, that you can pick up on Amazon. So just move that down good. And now I'm going to do my name. I cut out that extra piece to save that vinyl because this vinyl is not cheap. Um, but also keeping it in the square like that helps me do what you, you're going to see me do now and make sure I keep everything even. So I'm able to line it up like it's a full rectangle and it helps me keep everything level and in a straight line as opposed to me not having that um that extra transfer tape right there whereas I would be like trying to make sure like the the O N I how do I spell my name y'all know <laughs> that everything but the M uh, lined up and I also like to take it I left this part in because you guys never see me do this but I always like to take a tape measure and make sure I'm equidistant on the other side of the cup from the decal on the other side so that's a that's the best way to measure to make sure you're in the middle on each side of your cup so that you'll be equidistant on both sides of your cup so once I'm satisfied I'm just gonna peel that backing off sorry I'm a little bit out of frame had to bring it a little closer to me to make it easier for myself And again, leaving that piece where I didn't have anything, leaving that down on the cup so I never lose the line that I had, how I had it lined up. Then I can just flip it back down and just push it down. So super easy way to get vinyl on there and get it straight, especially when you're dealing with something where like your capital letter is a lot larger um, than your lowercase letters. So just a little extra tip I decided to throw in and keep in there for anybody that may be struggling with laying down like the, uh, the cursive vinyls or anything like that. So this is what we're working with. I love the way this looks like. Everything I make, I love, honestly. And so I always say that I love something, and I, I truly do. I love the way the water slide looks. It's like, it's not like bold in your face, but you'd be like, wait, is that the Golden Girls? And you'd be like, yeah, girl. Got my girls on my water bottle. And so I'm using the Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. I still like, <laughs> I wanna, I'm trying to get to new uh, resins, y'all, and epoxies, but I'm, I'm trying to get rid of what I have. Um, so yeah, I mix up 30 mils of each side. Way too much, as always. You can probably get away on this layer. We're doing 20 mils of each side. I'm glad I did do 30 mils because I had left my heat gun down in the garage. And so, I guess when I got up and I seen it on the footage, it's not in, I cut it out, but I had apparently stepped on my Turner plug and it had stopped spinning for about three minutes. And so uh, some of it had dripped down. So I was happy I did have that extra um, so I could go back in there and recode it. But other than that, drop and catch method, I finally, I figured out a way to rig it up. If anybody wants me to show y'all how to rig up these hydro sports, let me know and I'll show y'all the getaway. I got mine rigged up, um, but it works. It's spinning very smoothly. It's spent very smooth, no lumps or bumps or anything like that. And so here comes the final product. So this is how it looks, you guys. I am beyond satisfied. I think it turned out so beautifully, so gorgeous. 
super super satisfied so if you like this kind of video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel please don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below if i haven't answered anything in the video um i hope this video was informative if it wasn't informative i at least hope it was entertaining um hope everyone's having a good year so far and i will see you guys in the next one